Right guys, before we get into the today's video, I just have to say I do have a premium trading Discord and I'm going to tell you on the screen now uh, what kind of things we offer. It should pop up right now. Uh, you know, pause the video, have a read through. Uh, you know, we offer, we have like five plus traders putting daily investments, snapping filters, all that kind of good stuff, you know, to make millions of coins. Uh, and you know, it's just better to, it's better to join this premium than obviously spend the FIFA points. You're going to make loads more coins. So, you know, that's all I'm going to say. It's five pounds a month. Uh, and all you need to do is go down into the description, click the uh, buy premium link and then obviously buy premium. Uh, and yes, yeah, it's actually that simple. So if you join, appreciate it, and uh, yeah, enjoy your coins. Right, guys, if you're looking to buy the cheapest and most reliable FIFA 22 Ultimate Team coins, make sure to head over to u7buy.com and buy yourself some coins from there. And also make sure you use code K101 at checkout for 5% off. Right, boys, before we get into the first method of today's video, just have to say there is currently 89% of you that watching today's video that are not subscribed to the channel, and we are on the road to 17k subs. I think we've just hit, I think, like 16.8k maybe or something like that. I think all we're close. So, like I said, if you are new, drop a sub. We very much appreciate it. And also tell me if you do sub and like in the comments, and I'll like your comment or something. Um, but, yeah, if you do, you're a legend. And, uh, yeah. Like I say, drop a like as well, and let's get into the first method. It's going to be a gold team of the week. Position any, chem style any, nation any, league. You want to go to the uh, Premier League, sorry, I don't know. This is actually the first one, and I missed it. Um, then you want to literally keep going up until you find the buy now, which I think they were about 20k. Uh, what, they, uh, 37 minutes. So, I mean, I'd probably say we'll go a little bit lower. I reckon 1975, I think they'll sell a, a little bit easier. Yeah, so I mean, I'll probably go for 1975 um, and try and pick them up for that. And pretty much, oh yeah, yeah, so Doherty uh, does sell pretty quick at 1975. So pretty much, uh, you lose a thousand coins on tax, really. Um, obviously, because at 20k, you lose a thousand coins, only 250 coins below. So it's like 980 or some random stuff like that. So if we go down a thousand here, that is profit. It's like 20 coins profit. Anything but now we go below is profit or, you know, better, more profit. So uh, that's probably about 300 coins and that's probably about uh, 500 plus. So I reckon I reckon we start with a 300. Uh, so 1.5k, obviously. Oh, it's about it's probably about 500 actually, to be fair. No, it's not. We're not selling at 20, are we? It kind of depends how many coins you've got as well because, you, you know, if you have quite a lot of coins, um, you can probably sell these for about 20k and, you, you know, they are going to sell. You're just going to have to lazy sell them. Um, so you could do that or you can sell these at 1975 and they'll probably, uh, you know, sell pretty quick uh, or they will as they are needed for, you know, loads of SBCs, uh, loads of SBCs pretty much. Um, so, yeah, we'll see if we can maybe get a few of these. Obviously, at the moment, it's about 5 p.m., uh, which is obviously an all right time, but... I would probably expect these to be popping up a hell of a lot more during obviously lightning round, 6 p.m. content, 7 p.m. That kind of time is when these kind of methods work best anyway. Um, so obviously at the moment it's not really working too well. But that you know that is just how pretty much the market is in a way. Um, so like I say, when it does hit 6 p.m. and stuff, don't worry, this method will work like a charm. Um, but uh, yeah, I think there's also quite a lot of team of the weeks that are actually in packs at the moment. I think you've got Matty Cash, Doherty, I think there's another one as well. Um, so, yeah, and obviously Wednesday we should have some more Team of the Weeks as well. So that should be good. But, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap up the first method. Let's get into the second one right now. Right, boys, jumping into the second method of today's video. It is going to be uh, a mass bidding filter. I haven't done one of these in a long time. But they have brought player picks out. So it's going to be a gold common position. You want to go to centre mid. Uh, chemist out any nation any league you want to go to the Premier League and then literally um, Keep going up until you find the buy now obviously So yeah 700 coins is looking I think what they probably go for I mean So it's kind of up to you you can have a but like I say it kind of depends on how many coins you have um, So if you obviously got over like 100k I'd probably go for 700 as they are going to sell in the first half an hour to an hour um, so yeah, you can either do that or if you don't have many coins, I'd probably sell them for about 650 um, and they're going to sell pretty much instantly. So it's up to you. I'm going to go for 650 for today's video. 
Um, so you're pretty much going to lose about 35 coins or something. Something stupid like that. Um, so if we go down 650, won't it? So if we go down 100 coins, 70 coins per card is actually pretty decent. Um, and obviously, you know, if you bid on 50 at a time and you end up getting about 40 of them, you know, you're making about 700, 1.4. You can make about 3k each time you do this. Obviously, if you want to make more, you can just go down more. Um, but obviously, you got to remember, the more you go down, the harder these are going to be to pick up. So obviously, you try and pick them up for 500, you're going to get a lot more people outbidding you for like 550 or 600 and stuff like that. So it's up to you. It's a bit trial and error. So I'd probably start off, uh, we're going probably maybe 100 coins down, uh, or 100, yeah, 150 ish, um, and then obviously try and pick these up for, um, you know, try and pick these up for about 70 coins profit. Which, it, like I say, it doesn't sound like a lot, but the thing with mass bidding is you're picking up a hell of a lot of them. Um, so you know you're gonna be picking up like every 40 every five minutes or something like that. So that's you know about 3k profit every five minutes, which is pretty good. And obviously just to start you out, and then you can like I say, obviously bid them you know for 450 if you want, and that's gonna be 200 coins per card. Uh, and you know, obviously you're not going to get as many, but you're going to get a fair few. But uh, yeah, I would do it, but obviously I'm kind of running low on time. Um, and I think I've got a full transfer list as well. Yeah, I do. So I kind of need them in there as I need uh, to count how many cards I'm, you know, buying and stuff. So yeah, um, a little investment, just saying. But uh, yeah, that is going to wrap up the second method though, boys. So uh, yeah, let's get into the second one, uh, final one right now. Right boys, jumping into the final method of today's video, it's going to be a gold rare position you want to go to, uh, any, sorry, chemist up any, nation any, league you want to go to the Syria, uh, and then club you want to go to Napoli, uh, and then min buy now you want to go to 10.25, obviously if you don't know that's to get rid of literally all the, uh, you know, all the small players uh, or non walkouts, Ossiman, Ospina, Fabian, Zelinski, all them kind of players disappear um, as soon as you go to 10.25 and then you'll have two players on the market you'll have Insigne and you'll have Koulibaly um, and they're about 14k uh, last time I looked oh yeah so they're extinct at 14 which is nice 14.25 we can go for 14.5 uh, or is that too high uh, okay so I'd probably say 14.25 just so you can you know, you don't risk losing coins. So I'd probably sound up about 14.25. Uh, and then obviously, you know, pretty much you want to go down a thousand coins and you're going to be making, whoops, a thousand coins and you're going to be making about 300 coins per card. Obviously, you got to remember, you're not just making 300 coins per card. A lot of people comment saying, oh, you're only making 300. You're not, are you though, really? Let's be honest. You, If you snipe for, uh, you know, quite a while, and you think you're only going to be picking them up for 13k, you're deluded, no offence. But like, you know, you do this during lightning rounds, these will come up for 12k and under, um, you know, and that's obviously, that's 2k profit. So, you know, you don't just make 300 coins, that's minimum what you make. Remember that word, minimum, that is literally, you know, the worst case scenario, you're going to make 300 coins, which is obviously a dub. Um, so yeah. But it's literally guaranteed profit every time on every single method I do. And 13k, oh, oh, I've got a full thingy. No! Oh, wait. Okay, well, I could have probably got both of them, not going to lie. But uh, my transfer list is full. Uh, me target thing is full or something. Um, but yeah, pretty nice method. I think Koulibaly and uh, Insigne go for literally the same price. Oh, Insigne looks a little bit more expensive. That's probably why it went quite quick then. So yeah, if you do get Insigne, I'd probably chuck him up for uh, like maybe 200, uh, 200 to 500 coins more than Koulibaly. I think it's good, you know, obviously uh, because Koulibaly, they're both the same rating, but Koulibaly is obviously from, uh, I think, Senegal. Yeah, so obviously they don't really have as many good links as someone like Insigne. So that is why he's probably worth a little bit more. But yeah, three very nice methods there, boys. If you did find any of these methods helpful or enjoyed the video, please do drop a like, subscribe if you are new, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.